The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. Hello, and thanks for watching the second part of a video series detailing a recent trip out into the wilderness of the northeastern United States with citizen scientist Michael Musnick. Being able to spend time with Michael in the field is exciting enough, and the opportunity to see these rare animals is a huge added bonus. The first stop on our trip is to a more aquatic area with slower moving water where juveniles are often found. Juveniles like this one are not on transmitters, so it is important for Michael to track his findings when he does come across them. He uses a detailed numbering system to identify turtles with notches in the marginal scutes and can compare past photos of a given animal to record changes over time. All of this is done right in the field. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a new one. Looks like could be J3, that's what I think it is. Oh, I think this is J312 that I haven't seen in a very, very long time. Wow. Because there's another notch there. After our time hunting juveniles, it's out into the real wilderness. There's no highway noise in the background here. Before we start tracking, Bluto needs to be released with a shiny new transmitter. As the day flies by, we see many wood turtles. It's nice to see that they still have a place to call home, somewhere. It's getting plenty of sun. Yeah. For more information on this and other exciting colonial species, visit theturtleroom.com.